Hi friends, I have something very exciting for today. The Last of Us, episode one. I'm even wearing my PlayStation shirt. I have been waiting for this show since the moment it was announced. I've been following all of the news. I'm so ready. I played The Last of Us when it first came out, which is like almost 10 years ago at this point. <laughs> the first one specifically is the most moving, heartfelt, despairing <laughs> storyline within a game that I've ever witnessed, which is to say that I can't wait to watch the series. I will say I know all about some of the changes that have been made. There's no spores. <clears throat> and while the essence of the storyline and plot are going to have a similar thread, the movement through the story is going to be different. I had watched an interview with the writer of the game who was also involved in writing the series, where he explained that because of the fact that it was gameplay and the mechanics of the game made the way that the game was set up fun and constantly exciting, but if you were to translate that directly to television, it would become boring and repetitive. I trust that this series is going to be phenomenal. <laughs> I will cry if my hopes and dreams are smashed to pieces. And I am excited because as I said, I played The Last of Us when it came out almost 10 years ago, which means that <laughs> <laughs> that there's plenty of plot elements that I simply just don't remember. I remember very vividly the scene where you hang upside down and have to shoot because boy, was that a nightmare to get through. <laughs> and I remember the absolute heartbreak that was the ending. There's a plenty beyond that that I just like don't remember because my memory is horrible. I, like, I thought about replaying the game in advance of the show and then it was like, you know what? I will replay it at some point, but I kind of like the element of surprise. I'm super nervous. I'm super excited. I don't want to wait another second. Let's get into it. Thank you for being a friend. Yes, any kind of virus, but most probably something similar to influenza. Pandemic. Pan meaning all the whole world becomes sick all at once. We don't need to talk about the pandemic. <laughs> Prospect of a viral pandemic keeps you up at night as well. No. Does at this point. <laughs> Not viruses. So fungus, because there are some fungi who seek not to kill but to control. There's a fungus that infects insects. Yeah, the ants. I talked about this recently. <laughs> Fungal infection of this kind is real, but not in humans. For now, bitch. No reasons for fungi to evolve to be able to withstand higher temperatures. The world was to get slightly warmer. Oh, 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 oh this, nope, I'm uncomfortable. Could become capable of burrowing into our brains. Terrifying. So if that happens, we lose. <clears throat> Um, we'll take collars? <laughs> like, <laughs> stop, I'm gonna start crying now. And this absolute Game of Thrones style opening, are you kidding me? I love that the fungi look like cities <laughs> and they're like lighting up like cities, you know? That's fun. Ah! Oh, my whole heart, my whole heart. We're gonna cry. They would give our first scene with him shirtless, wouldn't they? Thank you. <laughs> I was gonna make you birthday pancakes. You know, I don't really like pancakes. Oh, that voice. Oh. How old are you again? 36. Shell. Calcium. <laughs> Is there enough for our Uncle Tommy? Stay alive, you old fucker. Aww. Oh my God, it's so fun to see them like as real people. Flesh up quick, we'll drop you off. I'm still eating my eggshells. <laughs> I'm still eating my eggshells. <laughs> He's losing it. Old age. <laughs> you know, the ripe old age of 36. Yeah. She's gonna fix the watch. Oh, look at how happy everything is for now. <laughs> okay. Somebody wants your attention, Miss Ma'am. So, Nothing intentional at all. Never mind. <laughs> Boo, but was that a sign? Like a. I can't think of the word, like a non-voluntary movement because of the infection. Involuntary. <laughs> it's a spring. I'll do it right now. Y'all, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Done for today. It's 3.15. I'm very sorry, he cannot finish. I'm all ready. No, 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 we need to fucking watch. You should go home. Run, run home. Damn, cleared out quick. Everything okay? Like, on the news? People out there need to get right with Jesus. Okay, Connie. Chill out, Miss Ma'am. Jesus ain't gonna save you from these monsters. <gasps> Here we 
go. Oh God, and of course they don't have like a, the news on. Don't old people like the news? Aren't they obsessed with having the news on all of the time? Why he thinks the TV has the devil inside of it or something. Bitch, if you jump scare me. <laughs> Give me a hand. Be right there. What's she doing? Oh no, she infected. <gasps> not the clicker movements, not that fast shit. Uh -uh. Oh no. You know what? My dad's gonna be back real soon. I should go. Smart girl, get out of there. I hate to think that these poor old people are like about to get got though. That makes me sad inside. Oh Jesus, Jesus. This show is gonna make me have a lot more like sympathy and empathy towards the victims of being infected. Y you know, in the show you just kind of run around like not giving too much of a shit. <laughs> Fixed it for you. Did you? What? I don't hear anything. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Joel. Get used to never seeing this again. <laughs> Bart from the Adlers. Oh, this is the one with the deleted scenes. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, I'm very tense right now because we know shit's about to like start popping off, right? Damn, I could take a nap there too. Uh, I'm okay. Yeah. But I'm in jail. I was at the bar. Some guy goes crazy, starts swinging at a waitress. It's Friday. You don't get me out tonight. I'm in here all weekend. Okay. Fucking idiot. <laughs> Oh, I'm uncomfortable. Can you imagine, like, what would you do? What would you do <laughs> if you woke up to this? I feel like I am very much one of those people that's like, you know what? I'd rather just get infected in the first wave, not know anything of it, have that be it. Law enforcement and emergency services are in the area. Instructions. <gasps> Fuck ass. <laughs> <laughs> Poor baby. Easy, Easy mercy. <gasps> no, he says don't go that way. He says don't go. Come on, let's get you home. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't do that. He doesn't want to. Mercy, please. Mercy. Go, Mercy, go. <laughs> I believe in you. Godspeed. Uh-huh. Yes, yeah, sweetie, get out of there. Mrs. Adler? You don't need to look around any more than this. <laughs> oh, shit. Where's Jesus now, Connie? Oh, oh, no, no. Oh, that's gonna make me vomit. Oh, no, 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 not the tentacle, like, no. Ah! Run, run, run. Get the truck! Yes, yes, yes. Ah! What are we doing, Joel? Killing her! <laughs> this is why we love Joel. No nonsense kind of me. <laughs> Get back inside the house! You lock your doors now! No, 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 sweetie, no. Uh, this is a familiar, right? Is this gameplay? You know what I mean? Saying it's a virus, some kind of parasite. Yeah, absolutely. How do you know we're not sick? It's Jimmy's place. What are you doing? We got a kid, Joe. So absolutely not. Absolutely not. Sorry. Sorry. Me, myself, and I. In the apocalypse, it's me, myself, and I. <laughs> Anything else is what gets you damn killed. Grab something. This is so the game, right? Right? I'm not crazy, right? All right, keep going, keep going. I love this shit. It's amazing. Oh, this is so good. <gasps> Is that plane? Oh, I'm stressed, bitch. Oh, shit. I'd rather just have the spores inside of me. Come here, come here. Are you okay? My ankle. Oh. <laughs> it wasn't English. 
Tommy! Oh, not the separation. Get her out of here, Joe. Go. Y'all know what we're coming up to, right? Go. Go. <laughs> No, I don't like this. Ah! My daughter's hurt. Her ankle. Stop right there. Y'all, turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. I got two civilians by the river. One of them injured. Yes, sir. Joe Rock. Oh. We're not sick. We are not sick. <laughs> I'm sorry. Please stop. <laughs> Tommy, 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 Tommy. Oh, yeah, I told you. You're okay. Move your hand. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I know, baby. I know, I know, I know, I know. I know it hurts. You're gonna be okay. All right. Okay. I gotta get you off. Oh, stop! 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 No, I know, I know. Tommy, help me! Oh, Tommy knows. Oh, Joel. <laughs> Devastating moment number one. You're not Ellie. Who the hell are you, you creepy little shit? Sorry, to be fair, I like, can register that it's a starving child. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. How did you get this? It's gonna be a little tickle right here. It's just a little needle. You're safe. Lies. <laughs> Are we just dumping off truckloads of bodies? They done killed the kid. I told you lies. We don't trust anyone in this show. Rule number one. Rule number two, me, myself, and I. EMC 342.3. Oh, public execution. Each of you have been tried in a military court of justice. And you know this shit is like real, right? Like if if the shit all breaks, if the system crumbles to this extent, you know we're backtracking. We're not gonna rebuild and get better. No, we're gonna go to bullshit like public executions. What do you want me to say, Tess? How about we just let it go? You gonna keep me here? Kill me? What about your guy? So I give you my word that he won't hurt you. And I'd like to go home and drink till my face stops hurting. <laughs> my kind of woman. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fucking Christ almighty. Oh, shit. Ooh. On your knees. Oh, no, I'm not a I'm not a firefly. We recognize those shoes. There's our girl. Count slowly and clearly from one to ten. Fuck. You. <laughs> That's our girl. I'm supposed to be here! Yeah, that would drive you insane. Oh, look for the light. Nothing. If Tommy responded, we'd know. Hasn't been that long. It's been three weeks. Not ideal feedback. <laughs> He's probably fine. Joel, it's in Wyoming. It's the Cody Tower. You only make good decisions after a few shots of whiskey, so... Oh, and a couple hydros. <laughs> These aren't new. No, I need you to take a breath. What? He sold on battery to someone else. Sure, it's no good without one, and if I don't get to Tommy soon, he's gonna die out there. No, I promised Robert that you wouldn't hurt him, but I would very much like for you to hurt him. <laughs> I don't know how much the first season is going to capture of the game. I feel like I saw somewhere that it was the entirety of the game, but that doesn't sound quite right. But I'm excited to tell you how I played out the end of the game. And why do you have some random girl locked in a room? Tell them to follow fucking orders! Bad bitch. <laughs> don't like her, but bad bitch. Marlene, we are in a war against a military dictatorship. Are the Fireflies being fed her anywhere? Her belly and takes time. We're taking that random girl locked in that room west. Is this real? I don't know how much to like verbalize because I don't want to spoil things to people that don't know yet. So I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep it inside. But I'm excited for you to find out. <laughs> Is it gonna happen? No. Get it? Get it? Get it? Back to Federal Military School? They put me there when I was a baby. It's for orphans. They didn't put you there. I did. Ellie. Why would you terrorist dump me with Fedra? Terrorist? 
<laughs> Why won't you let me go? Because you have a greater purpose than any of us could have ever imagined. Your magic, baby. What I'm about to tell you cannot be repeated to anyone, because if you do, you will die. Rule number one, don't trust anyone. Ooh. Oh! Oh, shit. This one's done. That's so dope. Oh, it's so cool. Look at that. Let's keep going. Oh, I love it so much. It looks so good. Oh, it looks so good. This opens into the hallway. It might be closed for good reason, Miss Thing. Well, the battery's no good. You greedy fuck. Yes. Y'all, what a perfect meeting. It's a little meet cute and like, but apocalypse themed, you know? I can't be stupid like this. Ellie always gonna be a little stupid in the way that she's wily. Don't. Not if. <laughs> Joel. I need it for a better reason than you do. No offense, but Tommy's just one man. You're the cause of it. You turn my own brother against me. Okay, Joel. But we won't make it anywhere like this, not for a while. You're gonna do it. The hell I'm not we going are. Kim, you don't have a fucking ear on your fucking head, could you please? <laughs> and I know what you're both capable of. Rule number one, don't trust anyone. Rule number two, me, myself, and I. We're gonna break all of that a little bit here. Asshole! <laughs> Second we hand that kid over. Y'all talk it through, but please remember that I'm bleeding out. <laughs> You are all that matters. Now go get your backpack. You're going to school. The bus is leaving. <laughs> the radio is a smuggling code, right? 70s, they got new stuff. What's 80s? Mm. But what am I supposed to do? I'm sure you'll figure that out. <laughs> I love the absolute resentment between these two. I've never been on the other side of the wall. You guys go out there a lot, so we're going to be okay. She's still a little girl at heart, y'all. She's still got fears. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, the radio came on when you were sleeping. What was the song? Wake me up before you go-go. <laughs> gotcha. 80s means trouble. I would simply never be brave enough. Not the Joel coat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, in the Ellie coat. Holy shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> ah. she, you know, she's got the, the street smart. She has like the tenacity and fiery spirit to find out shit that she wants to find out as just proven with the radio. Still, though, she has a core of innocence because she is a child <laughs> who hasn't experienced a regular world, even life outside of a concrete wall in a military zone. <laughs> Kill him! You gotta be shitting me. <laughs> so hold on. What did I fucking tell you, man? Get on your knees. We'll split the cards with you. Oh, will you? You're doing this by the book. Unauthorized exit. Oh, her secret's about to be out, bitch. <laughs> fucking mine. <laughs> <laughs> good girl, good girl. Get out of the fucking way! Whoa, whoa, we can fix this. Not a flashback to what happened with his daughter. That's right, that's right. <laughs> There's the Joel we love. Ellie's like, holy shit. <laughs> oh, Joel! I am not sick! Joel! I'm not three weeks old! Nobody lasts more than a day! Joel, we gotta move! And there's the big secret about our girl, Ellie. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited to be in the mean streets. Tommy? Tommy? Trouble. Means trouble? When I say that was everything I wanted it to be and more, it is everything I wanted it to be and more. The cast is beautiful. The world and interior scene building is so atmospheric and full, which is so vital to a the concept of The Last of Us. Like, we can move through a, a lot of areas, okay? I don't know how much the season's gonna move through, but the game itself is a lot of travel, while also having a lot of being confined within interior spaces. But the setting itself is very much a character, very much alive, very much part of the narrative. My heart is so full of joy. The dialogue? 
phenomenal. Something was so beautiful about The Last of Us where there were moments that were so scary, moments that were so intense, and yet it would always wrap back into moments of calm slash moments of humor. So it was this perfectly executed balance where, you know, I wasn't too terrified to continue on. So for them to have been able to recreate that essence within even the first episode gives me insanely high hopes for the future of the show. Beautiful. Just see it,